hi my name is Dhananjay Kumar and in this quick video we are going to see the basic steps required to start with Kendo UI mobile you can reach me at dhananjay.kumar at telerik.com at the end of this video we are going to have something like this in this application we got three different views called login view a details view and setting view when you click on these buttons in the bottom you will be navigating to different uh, views these uh, footer buttons are called tab strip and here in the header you can see we have put title of the application and the back button so we are going to see that how we are going to work with this footer header these different views and navigate navigation between the views to start with I have created a stable file page you can see here and I have added all the required reference which is needed to work with Kendo UI mobile I'll go one by one here that very first I have added reference of kendo.com and .css. these files are hosted at the CDN of Kendo UI uh, then I have added a default.min.css and then kendo.mobile.all.min.css so you need these three uh, CSS files for uh, styling your mobile application using Kendo UI mobile after that I added a uh, latest jQuery file here if you want to uh, use uh, jQuery functionalities in the mobile application then I have added a uh, Kendo UI uh, JavaScript references dot JS references like Kendo dot all dot min dot JS and Kendo dot mobile dot minimum dot JS so all the um, Kendo UI uh, mobile widgets like button or views we are going to use is part of Kendo dot mobile dot minimum dot JS so these references you need to add uh, before uh, starting development mobile applications using Kendo UI mobile uh, before we uh, move ahead I would like to make a point that even though we have added references from the global location here you can very much uh, download references from your local uh, uh, local files like you can download a Kendo UI mobile file put into the style folder and JS folder and then can refer those local file here in your uh, project now let us go ahead and create some views so to create mobile view we need to create a div and then we can say data role as view and then we can say id as login view and let's call it this is this is login view so here to create a view you need to uh, you need to add a HTML element on the body tag and after that uh, uh, set a property data rule as view and then Kendo UI uh, will take care to convert this div as a mobile view in this way we can have as many view we want and let us call it detail view and let us call it setting view this is setting view and this is detail view so here we have created all the uh, three views and we are going to navigate between these uh, uh, these views in a mobile application there is always only one HTML file, HTML file and there are different views and we navigate as per our business requirement in between those views next we need to add a script to initialize this page as Kendo mobile application before the body tag closing body tag add a script take javascript and here we can say where app equal to new kendo dot mobile dot application and here you can say document dot body and in this we can 
set some uh, configuration like if you want what should be the initial initial view of the application and that we can uh, set it here as we can say let us say login view should go as the initial view of the application so here we have initialized the page as a, to act as a mobile application and here setting the initial view as the login view now if we go ahead and run this application in Chrome browser here you see that our application is loading with the initial view that is this is login view now we need to put the buttons to navigate between the views now we need to add a header and footer and set a layout of the application remember that you can either put a layout for individual view or you can put layout of whole the application you can put layout of whole application here as layout and the ID of the layout ID of the layout let us say we are going to create uh, uh, the layout called default layout here so we can create a layout as div data role as layout and data ID as let us say default layout and in the in the layout we can have div data role as header and then we can have div data role as footer now let us go ahead and set this uh, data ID here instead of that so we want this layout as a layout of the application now in as a header we want the back button we can have that as div and then we can set data role sorry we can set data role as navbar and then we can say a data role equal to back button and we can say data align as left and here we can type back so we want the label back there on the back button and then we can say as the header of the title of the application called test application so here we have created the header of the application where we have put a back button and the test applic and, and title as test application the idea of this layout is default layout and we want this layout as a layout of whole application which we are setting here layout as default layout now go ahead and run it to see the application on running we can see that now application is having the back button and in the header uh, the title of the application and by default login view is uh, loaded since we have set it as a initial view of the application now next we need to create the footer where we'll have different buttons to navigate between the views now we want to add a tab strip in the footer and there would be three buttons uh, on the tab strip and on the click event of uh, those button will be navigating between the views so to add a tab strip add a div and data role as tab strip now we want uh, three different buttons so button is created in Kendo UI using a tag and let us say call it login and then call it uh, detail because we have these views login detail and setting views and then call it setting now uh, to navigate a parameter we give it its href and to locally navigate it we will be giving the ID of view preceded by hashtag so on this button we want to navigate to login view so take hash and then provide the ID of login view in the same way href provide ID of detail view and here href provide ID of setting view 
now we have created a button on click of this button we have said that it should navigate to login view and this is a local view uh, local view and that is preceded by the hashtag now we if you want we can set some data icon and that can be set with the property data icon and let us say on this we want home icon there are many default icons available here which you can see on the official document of Kendo UI button that these are the default about action add bookmarks icons are available or uh, you can use them as it is or if you want you can create a custom icons as well so here we are setting data icon as home and then data icon as detail details because details data icon is already available there and then data icon as is the WTN settings. So settings data icon is also available there. So here we have created a tab strip with buttons and on click event of those buttons we will be navigating between the views. On running you can see that application is having three buttons in the bottom in the footer and on click of that buttons you are navigating to different views and on the back button you are coming back to previous view. So uh, this is how you can start working and creating mobile native mobile applications using Kendo UI Mobile and uh, essentially uh, there are few steps which you need to follow. The first is add all the required references, second decide about the views you want to have, third uh, decide about the layout and set the layout, add a header, add a footer and navigate between the views as required. This is all I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, for any clarification, you can reach me at dhananjay.kumar at telerik.com. Uh, uh, if you want to ask some questions in tweet, you can uh, mention me and my Twitter handle is debug underscore mode. Thank you and looking forward to see you again.